Your turn to start the episode. Episode. Start the episode. Episode. You want to start the episode. Episode. Let's start the episode. Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games. Play games and talk game design. It's appropriate for where we are. It's pretty solid. All right, Hi, everyone. Upwards. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're full of wings and ready to. Full of wings Damn and it. beer. <laughs> Starting off. Yeah, not that we are inebriated in any sense. Not at all. Oh, dodged. Oh, did you see that deflection? Oh my god. <laughs> it was pretty, pretty legit. I'll give you that. <clears throat> it's pretty great. Although oh, you yeah, went in the wrong yeah, door. Yeah, the fucking. Yeah. This is. Remember in the last episode when I was like, you're gonna be circling around a lot. This, 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 this is what I mean. Oh no, what's going on? Yeah, if anything, we're drunk on hot wings because oh, they were so yeah, good. Yeah, drunk on hot wings. We only it's have like so one, we only have one beer each, so we're not actually <laughs> drunk. But like, damn, <laughs> those hot wings though. It's been Ooh. not to like get off topic, but it's been like it's been hot a man. couple of years since I've had hot also, wings. Also, what? You gotta hit the lever, dude. Okay, okay. Wait, what lever? Go. Oh wait, is there a? Yeah, dude. So go ahead and go to your left. Go to your left. My left. Go. To, go just tr oh. trust. Me, trust me. Pick up those skull things. Not that one. Dude. Dude. There you go, buddy. You did it. Oh, does open both of them? Yeah. Ah, well, I didn't know it opened both. Yeah. Of them. Well, that's the trick. That's where they get you, and they got you. They got you oh, good, man. Man, good game design. One was you saying, Dude, like, oh, good see, game see, design. see, veteran Zelda Dude. player right here got had. Trixie. Trixie Dixie. Trixie. Trixie Dixie Wixie with a whiskey. Whiskey. You Trixie know, Dixie with a whiskey. <gasps> not to get off topic oh, again, yeah, but no, when no. I worked at Subway oh, for man. eight years because man. I did that, oh man, uh, that was rough. I don't recommend it to anyone. Oh, I wouldn't recommend <laughs> eating it either. It's yeah, it's not good. You know, I, we're not sponsored by them, but uh, I I hate Subway food. But like of all fast food choices, I tend to gravitate toward that because I don't like feeling like I'm gonna die. Oh, that okay. That's fair. <laughs> that's uh, that's actually kind of solid. <laughs> Wait, which one of these? It's the yeah that one. Um, so I worked there for eight years, and uh, we would get a customer every every couple of nights that would like ask for too much stuff in her salad. <laughs> She'd like ask for so much that she actually asked for basically salads on the side mm -hmm. in like soup cups, oh, which was stupid. Uh, but she, her name was Trixie, and she <laughs> she would bring in like can king size candy bars to bribe us instead of just paying the extra like dollar to get the extra food for her salad. She'd bring in candy bars to be like, oh, don't you like me? I bring you candy bars. It's... And she'd call us, she'd call the store too to, to order. And she'd be like, hi, it's Trixie. Like, oh, God. I don't miss those things. I would not miss them either if I were you, sir. Oh, man, we had those too. Oh, boy, what's that over there? So you, um, you totally just like beat their game design for a second there, their puzzle. Yeah. Because the idea is, is you're supposed to see the crack in the wall to the left, right? And be like, oh, that's where I got to go. Yeah. Well, really, maybe you jump down and you go all the way to the left. You see, oh, it's a locked door. So I'm going to go blow up that crack in the wall mm -hmm. and then go find the key. Well, then you find that there's no key in there. And then you swim all the way to the right and you pick up the, the little skull thing. And you go, ah, there's the key. Yeah. Ah, fooled me. I guess we and were really a lot closer to the boss than I thought. Well, <laughs> hey, it looks like I did a much better job because there was actually several places I could have gone to. That's true. Yeah, you re well, you know, you hit every room. Oh, wow. Um, but you every room, jeez. You didn't go to every door, mm. I guess. Um, gotcha. and you kind of when you screwed up, you didn't really dilly dally. Oh, did I did I not actually screw up? Is that what you're saying? Well, no, you did, but we have video proof that you screwed up. <laughs> but hey, it took us five minutes to get here. If we had done that in the last episode, we would have had like a thirty-five minute episode. Yeah, no thanks. And we were hungry. And now. We eat, we've eaten, and we're full of energy, and talking about Subway for some reason. It's because you said Trixie. Yeah. And that name will haunt me forever. <laughs> uh, so, I, I've always really found this boss satisfying. Is that weird? It is actually really satisfying. I forgot how satisfying it is. I know! It's, it's because, like, there's something so tangible about pulling all these little poofs off of it and yeah. killing them. Like, imagine if, like, 
you just like killed two or three of them and then they all kind of fell apart and like dissipated. No, yeah. you have to kill every single one of them because the game designer said so. And it's like, actually, it kind of feels good. Yeah, it does, really. And it's so, it like, you see every single bit of like damage that you're doing to it yeah. by removing it because you're well, just right. removing it from the equation. And like, what's more is as you remove these well. from it, the boss battle becomes easier because he has less to fight you with until he hits his second wave. Yeah. Um, it's like, I, oh, I don't know. Snagged. <laughs> it's, it's really satisfying. It's like, you know how like some people are like, it's really satisfying to like clean the apartment or like, you know, to organize things. Just like That's, that's kind of how it feels to me. Like, I'm organizing this boss. I'm cleaning it up. There it is. <laughs> but as far as boss battles go, it's nothing too crazy compared to what we've seen already. And this style of ah. design is, is one that we're going to see reiterated yeah, across. I have, I have a fairy, don't worry. But yeah. He is a fairy, don't fairy, worry. Fairy, fairy, fairy. <laughs> <laughs> he was really just easy to dodge and hard to hit. So we're, we're going to see the style of boss battle again, though. Maybe that's what they meant to do. What? Like, make him really easy to dodge but hard to freaking hit unless you use spin attack. Uh, more or less, I'd say. Yeah. Because, like, I kept dodging him. I could dodge him for days, honestly. Until I tried to hit him. Except when you died, but you know, no big deal there. Because I was trying to hit him. That's the that's the point. It was hard oh, because he's easy to dodge until you try to hit him. I wonder if the hookshot would have made a difference while he was zipping around. Probably. Why not. would I need the hookshot in this dungeon? I don't know, man. <laughs> You're actually you might be right. I think I probably should have attempted to use the hookshot. But my my guess Whoops. is like maybe it would have stunned him, but yeah. even then it would have been hard to hit him. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it as long as that person lives. That's why it is hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few know of this location, but at some point that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Light World. Well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points that, like, only you saw in the Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. No, Ganon, the evil king. Do you understand? It was a, she has a lot of information compared to the last lady. No, no. To be fair, the last one had a lot to say, too. Mm. Um, it was just less grandiose. It was more pertinent oh, okay. to the moment because that was the first one that we hit in the Dark World. And she was like, all right, listen up. This is what the Dark World's about. Gotcha. Uh, clench your butt cheeks because this is going to be a wild ride. Clench your butt cheeks. <laughs> uh, did you get the oh. heart piece? Yeah, yeah got okay, it, cool. got it, got it. Uh, three, number three, number three, number three, number three, number three, in the forest. All right. In the jungle. The oh, hi, friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a thing. Um, oh, dodge, yeah, I dodge. guess we might as well go to that dungeon. <laughs> why not? No reason why not. Yeah, no, we gotta go there. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Well, like, there's other things we could do. Where do we get the shovel from? Mm. That's actually one that I don't remember. Mm. <gasps> oh, man, that almost sucked. But no, Just really, where do we get the shovel from? Oh, does I the dude in the forest? I don't know, man. I, re I really do not know where we get the shovel I from. Think, I'm sorry. I think it's the... Um, oh, shit. It's the log boy. Um, the, the dude that was, like, the false hero of, of Legend that went looking for the Triforce. Oh, you want me to get the shovel? You don't have to. I, I'm right. just trying to remember because the randomizer, like, screwed up everything for me. Yeah. Um, But I think he gives you the shovel and he's like, find my ocarina. And then you're like, yeah, sweet dude. I'll by the way, I'm opening that path like that deliberately to annoy anyone who's annoyed by it. But I'm annoyed by it. you trying to annoy people. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just so if anyone's annoyed, I did it on purpose. So this is a, um, this is an example of uh, oh. why you need the warp points in the randomizer mm -hmm. to get to new areas on the map. Because if you don't have the hook shot, there's no easy way of getting Shoot. across this gap. Yeah, you can use a hook shot. Whoopsies. Um, of course, you can. You could still nice. use the um, the the water warp spots to get across there, but it's just like I mean, there's no good stairway from the waterway to get up there. Yeah. Also, you missed a piece of art. Where? In that zone you just passed. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, I need it. Where is it? Need what? That piece of art. Oh, it's uh above all this stuff. See that stairway? Go up there. Right, hang on one sec. Hang on. While Edward figures this out. 
Will he do it in this episode? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. I keep hitting the damn select button. Why do you do that? I'm bad. I he's bad at games. He's admitted it on the show, guys. We have tangible proof. I'm not bad at games at all. Good night and good luck, everyone. Good night and good... <laughs> go, go safely into that long dark. <laughs> go loudly into that quiet dark. Whatever. But dooms! But dooms. Hey, but that. dooms. We've hit the two rows, but... Nice. I guess we did that after the we last boss battle. We hit it after the last boss battle, but then yeah. we uh, increased it without having to go to a new... Dungeon. Excuse me, those are wing Those are wing burps. Oh, no. You're, you're fine, just move down a little bit. Oh, that's right. Oh, good. Because you had they, the, they the moment of, they, yeah. The invincibility. Oh, if right. you really want, Man. you could uh, sort of cheat and get the... Uh, is it the cape? I think it's the cape. Where is it? So, go go to the right. Hey, you get... You are on a different plane than me. <laughs> so, normally, you can't really get this until you get the titan mitts. Right. But if you use the mirror here, you can actually just barely do the... Uh, this is, I think, the one where you need the Pegasus boots to, like, hit that open. Uh. But I think you can just, if you, like... Hang on a second. Get Link to just turn around without moving. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Nice. What? Tricks you learn when you have to because also, of the randomizer. Also, I think I totally just screwed up my uh, warp point by putting the gravestone on top of it. Uh, probably. Ah, shit. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. The magic cape, which is hands down one of the most powerful items in the entire game. Yeah. Because it just lets you skip past. Oh no, it's good. Oh, you're it's fine. Good. It's fine. You're fine. It ain't no thing. Nice. Got the magic cape beforehand. So if you don't know, the magic cape turns you invisible, but also invincible. Um, except for like, you if you fall off a cliff, you're still gonna get hurt. Um, but like, you can walk over spikes and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, which is super powerful. It consumes your magic really quick. <gasps> Actually, let's do that before we hit the next dungeon. Let's oh, get gosh. half magic. Okay, okay. Because the next that. dungeon, the next dungeon requires you to have the fire rod. Okay. Um, and you will have nightmares if you don't have half magic at okay. that point. Gotcha. Where? How are we gonna do that? I forget. Uh, go down to go go to Kakariko Village actually. Oh, nice. Dark Kakariko. Dark Village. Kakariko Village. What? You got a problem? Man, he just like came right for me. Jeez. <laughs> And now that we have the hammer, we can do everything that we need to do. Oh! <gasps> no, we can't get the tempered blade yet. Okay. I had a moment of excitement. Uh, go down to... You know where the swordsmiths are? Yeah. Go there. Oh, yeah. There are thieves in the dark world over here. Fuck them. Go, go down. Where are you going? No, yeah, we're going down. Yeah, sorry. I just I had to look up there to remember that I'm going the right do you, way. Bro, do you even play Zelda? Yeah, dude, dude. Fuck off it. Uh, I well, actually, use the, uh, use the mirror. Okay. You don't gotta be here. I have a Zelda tattoo. Screw you. Uh, just because you have it in ink doesn't make That's it true. That's real true. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, hit that hammer up there and then jump down. Yeah. Hit it. Hit that ham. Hit that ham. <laughs> <laughs> Ten Whoa. Tenderize with uh, that ham. Oh, boy. Um, never mind, anyway. Are you sure you only had one beer? <laughs> I had one? Shut up! I'm just kidding. Man. <laughs> you mean... What is this? Sprinkle some of that magic dust on oh. there. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. We're, we're getting mm. Oh, shiznit. Is that Vati? Oh, it's Vati! It's hey, baby Vati! Blessed you for waking me from my deep dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now I will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. Er, is that okay with you, sir? Zzz. I forgot how silly he was. This in Japanese, I'm just like, yep, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day. See you. So silly, he's like, haha, you're cursed. Your magic is now doubled. Like, aw, oh, rats. Oh, darn it. <laughs> he's, he, it's because he's, he's trying to be a very powerful, mean villain, but he doesn't exactly understand the way of his spells. He's, he's trying to be a villain, but all of his spells are buff spells. So yeah, <laughs> he doesn't actually know that. <laughs> he thinks they're detrimental, but they're really not. He's, he's just trying to be the salesman about it. He's like, listen, this is all, this is all I have. I'm going to make sure you... You're convinced that it's what I'm telling thing. you is true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, but in, but in reality, diddle 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 diddle. oh, 
I've watched that happen almost in slow motion. Uh, I was like, to be entirely hey, in. No. To be honest, I watched it happen too. I was like, I have to accept my fate right now. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> God, I love fantastic. this game. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way. Oh, man. Uh, all right. No, no, you're going the right way. You, can sneak, you can sneak past it, man. The, uh, both, both sides are blocked off. So I think the idea is that they want you to fall um, so that you enter the dungeon because that actually will bring you to the dungeon. But there's a better place to enter it. Uh, and it's the same place that you got the piece of heart in those flowers. Fleurs. Because I think it'll take you somewhere. I it could be wrong. Ah, no, very. Ah. Oh. Well, you done fucked up, buddy. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry, I keep... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this is a much better spot to start. <laughs> Wrecked. I simultaneously love and hate this dungeon. Why? Uh, this is where they introduce the uh, the, the dungeon hand. I forget what they call it. Master hand? Oh, no, gosh. not the master hand. What do they call those things? Freaking master hands. Um, floor masters. Floor master and or wall master. Yeah, they are floor masters. I know that. Good. Yes! You saved me the, the trouble of looking it up. Oh, good. I'm so happy when you get to do that to them, by the way. Yeah, isn't that satisfying? It's so satisfying. I feel like... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Initially, that kind of looks like it's a bug. Yeah. Um, oh, oh wait, I wonder if the stars affect this. You can't do anything over there yet. I forgot that that's where the uh, the big chest is. But, you know, the big chest is there, so congrats. <laughs> uh, sorry, spoiler, I guess. For what? Telling you that the big chest is there. I wanted to hook shit up. Am I ruining all of your fun by telling you where everything is before you find it? <laughs> I actually did not listen to you at all. That's good. Yeah. This is the big chest. Yeah. <laughs> you douche. <sighs> Great. Man. Do, 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 I'm having a lot of fun do, with this dungeon. Do, do, what? Do, 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 do. Nice tootin' action. I didn't fart. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> It was an accident. The wings, man. Oh, wow. You really just can't do anything in here. Well, I guess I told you to go to the worst place possible. Thanks. Thanks, friend. <laughs> oh, look at Locke's door. Another one. Ah, uh, Don't man. you really like it when you find a locked door? We could jump down one of those. Don't you, um, like, it when I, don't you like it when I say the term locked door? So this dungeon, one though. This one? Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't it be hilarious I like how it just kind of stood there. Yeah, I'd be like, dude, <laughs> you're a dick. <laughs> So this dungeon is one of the weird ones um, because there are a lot of trap rooms in this like, oh. that require <laughs> keys that you just don't ever need to use. So you could leave this dungeon with keys that are just unspent. That's true. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's why those guys are a fun uh, game design or game or oh, anime. Oh, yeah. That's why I like them so much. I actually, I'm surprised we didn't, I didn't think about talking they, about it. But they punish you for damaging them. Well, it's like, so... What I've been saying about most of the enemies of this game is that they, they're they interesting because they all move in a different way, right? Yeah. These enemies change how Link moves. Yes. Which is genius. It's it, it turns the tables around. And they introduce these monsters in uh, Dungeon 3? Yeah. yeah, I think Dungeon 3. Yeah. It's, it's such a... It, like, for a game that has, like, sort of platforming <gasps> elements of, like, don't fall off... <laughs> um, it really is just a, a natural enemy to, to throw into the bunch. That's very smart. That's very good enemy design. Nice job, Nintendo. You know what you're doing. Like, I kind of want to just make a list of, like, all the different movement behaviors and types of how, like, each of the monsters act and, like, like what did they even miss? Did they miss anything? I think they just hit the oh, full damn, gambit. Not, not fast enough. Should have used your lantern, bro. <gasps> could burn them. These guys insta die because they're mummies. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe uh, you, you sure? can't use the lantern. Wow, Chris. <laughs> if you use the Thanks. fire rod, it kills them in one hit. Dang. I don't know. I assumed that you could use the fire or <gasps> the uh, lantern. There he is. What's up, buddy? I just wanted a handshake. Why did I even let him out? I don't know. Get out of hmm. here. Hey, look at that. You've been oh, here. Oh, cool. You man. wasted a key. I hope you're oh, happy. Fuck. <laughs> See what I mean, though? Isn't it weird? Because you it can is. get to pretty much every spot, mm. um, which, to be fair... Wait, then might... where do I go? Shit. Well, you did miss a door, so you could jump back down there. I could? Yeah. Okay. At least I think you missed a door, because you, you went up when you got the compass. You guys ready for the longest dungeon? What time are we at, buddy? Uh, we got 36 seconds left, so... How far can you get in 30 seconds? Ow. American Ninja Warrior. Eddie. About this far. Pretty much, yeah. 
<laughs> so go, go. Oh, that door. Yeah, go straight up. What? No, this way. No, you went there. It's oh. where you just used your key like a oh. Oh, sack. Like a sack. I mean, like straight up. Uh, I went this straight way, dude. Straight up. No, you. Oh, maybe you did. I did go this go, way. Well, go there if you, if the mummies are there, then. I went this way, dude. Yeah, go down. That's what I've been Chris. telling you this whole time. Oh, hell. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Whoa, this is a family show, uh, Eddie. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> I'm sorry. There you go. That Good job, me. buddy. You're yeah, doing it. Yeah, thanks, friend. Also, uh, I now that I see the room, I remember if you had if you had jumped down the other hole, yeah. this is where you would have ended yeah. up. Yeah. Um, but there is a key, I believe, underneath one of those. I mean, at least in the chest. Uh, but lift up those little skull things. Hang on. Also, you oh. should probably die. So you die. Hey, you have a fairy though. Oh, sweet. Yeah, see, I have fairies. I have three fairies. Get away from me. <laughs> Actually, I have two fairies left. Get out of there. Shit. Eddie. Next time on American Ninja Warrior. Yeah, next time on this. <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, all right, well, all right. we should probably call it here. Yeah, we'll call it here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Actually, no. <laughs> I'm the worst. We're, no? we're, go, go get the key, then we'll end it. I don't want to end it without getting it. All right, so we can fun. just get out of these rooms. Right. We don't need to be here. Okay, okay. I hate these mummies. How do you feel about doors that close behind you like that? Like, seal off your exit? I'm okay with it. Yeah? Does it, does it feel arbitrary in a room like this, though? Because what it does in this dungeon is it forces you to continue circling around. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, to me, it begs the question of, like... What was the point? Well, I guess they're sort of forcing you to use a key. So maybe you really didn't even need to go here because now you have to use a key to get out. Unless you use the floor master. <gasps> you could use the floor master to get out without using the key, which is kind of hilarious. Oh, dang, yeah. Because that's just going to take you... Well, where is that going to take you? Hmm. I think it's just going to take you to a room you've already been. Yeah, this room. Oh, my God. So once again... This dungeon's this really easy dungeon. if you know how to abuse it. Yeah. Why did you... I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, oh, no. I, I think of all the dungeons of this game, this is one of the most the easily map, right? broken, oh, shit. Um, but oh, one shit. of the most interesting. Yeah. So I don't really know how I feel about this. Oh, no. we'll, we'll talk about this more in the next episode. Um, the entire point of this singular area and this dungeon is for the big key. Chest. Yeah, pretty much. Damn. Yeah. I gotta fall in from somewhere else. Yeah. Or answer. Yeah, okay. Because literally, you, oh, you used right. every single key you found in this. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh no! Do you see what I mean, though? This is such like, a good. Doesn't thought. it doesn't it feel like you're just like surrounded by trap rooms, and it's just like, what's the point? But it is the Lost Woods. <gasps> Ooh, I like that point. Actually, it kind of fits theme. Right? So you're kind of lost in this dungeon. Mm -hmm. Oh, I never nice. thought about it that way. Yeah. Hmm. Well, question well, of the day. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? The, uh, the like, I, don't, I guess, like, sort of optional paths and trap rooms and seemingly arbitrary key rooms and stuff in this dungeon? Mm hmm. What are, what are your thoughts on that? I'm what sure that'll you? sound great. It doesn't sound like anything, don't worry. I hope not. <laughs> um, it will sound great. We'll, we'll talk about this dungeon more in the next episode, too, but, uh, I, I think this that question is most pertinent right now when we just realized we just circled around the, the boss chest. Yeah, we have, it's all I did. <laughs> this is literally all I did. I probably should have looked at the map earlier. Uh, Whoops. That's what happens when you well, don't play a game for fair, like six years. You did also pick up the chest, or the uh, uh, map and the compass here. Yes. So, so that was the only point. That. Yeah. Okay, well, hmm. next time, guys, we'll see what we do. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>